China's economic downturn and its impact on Korea's economy. Chungmyo Chereak celebrates the 130th anniversary of Korea and France's diplomatic ties. The importance of eating breakfast is changing the morning scene for Koreans. And the world of art therapy, a healing method within everyday lives. China shot up to its G2 status through rapid development. However, its economy is now facing a crisis. How will this affect Korea's economy? The value of the Chinese yuan dropped by 4.66% in the last two months and sent shockwaves across the world, plummeting the global stock market. On August 25th, the Shanghai Composite recorded the lowest closing price in eight years. Other major nation shares also fell dramatically. Greece took the biggest blow, while Korea came out relatively unharmed. China is the world's largest trading country. And because of the large volume of Chinese yuan in circulation, the global economy took a big hit from its devaluation. For the past 30 years, China boasted an average 9.9% annual growth rate. It even maintained a double-digit growth rate in the last 10 years. Accordingly, China's economic scale multiplied 13 times since 1978. Its trade grew 177-fold, and China became the world's largest trading nation. China is the largest trading partner of Korea, Japan, ASEAN, and Australia, and the second largest for the U.S. and EU. Then why did China decide to devalue its currency? China's first quarter growth rate recorded its lowest in six years at 7% this year. Many countries around the world are expressing concerns over China's impact on the world economy. How does the U.S. feel about China's decision to devalue its currency? Right now, lately, the stock market, there's been a bubble and it's collapsed and so they've had almost free, fall, free fall for the stocks and things in like the Shanghai market and other places. So there's major issues there which if it was contained to China, it might not be a bad thing. But right now it's sending ripples out amongst the rest of the world markets as well. So it is affecting our business and it is affecting things. So we are watching very closely. China's slow growth rate resulted in a worldwide decrease in exports. Korea saw a drop in its exports to all of its six major markets, excluding the U.S. Exports to China, the biggest market, decreased by 2.4%. China makes up 22.8% of Korea's total imports and exports, the largest of all countries. That's why Korea can't help but be wary about China's economic trends and policies. Once the Chinese economy improves, some industries will pick up pace again. However, some industries will suffer. The 사실상 그 위안화 절하가 되면은 여기서 수출을 하는 건 다소 영향이 있겠지만은 그 물량이 미미한 수준이고 그 현지 생산하고 판매하는 부분에 대해서는 위안화가 절하다면 오히려 중국 내수 경기가 살아나기 때문에 그에 따라서 오히려 혜택을 볼수 있는 그런 측면이 있습니다. Will the currency devaluation shrink the number of Chinese visitors? The number of visitors to Korea is recovering from the MERS outbreak hit. How do Chinese people feel about their economy and Korea? I think China's economy is very fast. You don't have to worry about 
，我觉得将来中国和韩国的交流也会，呃，很密切，然后越越来越会更好。据我所知呢，就是包括前天，不知道你没有看那个阅兵式，那个朴槿惠那个总统也是去了嘛。然后我是觉得中国跟韩国的现在关系是特别特别紧密的。Korea and China's relationship is stronger than ever before. The two countries have signed an FTA, and President Park Geun-hye became the first Korean leader. To attend China's Victory Day parade on September 3rd, such progress shows that China and Korea have become close partners. 중국 사람들은 박근혜 대통령에 대한 애정이 굉장히 강합니다. 신문 일부 언론에도 보도가 됐지만 그냥 박근혜 대통령을 피하고 따지에 따지라는 건 뭐냐면 박큰 누나 그런 뜻이죠. 그 말은 뭐냐면 외국 원수에 대한 극존칭이죠. 그래서 만나는 모든 중국 사람들이 아주 그냥 한국과 중국의 새로운 게 열렸다 기원이 열 신기원이 열렸다 지금 중국 내 한국에 대한 평가나 박근혜 대통령 평가는 최고라고 볼 수가 있죠 왜 그러냐면 그 동안 중국 경제가 30년 성장하는 동안에 한국 기업들이 기여한 바가 많거든요. The world economy is shaking from Europe and China's economic slump. Is this a red light for Korea? With its relationship with China at its height, Korea needs to come up with an effective strategy. 중장기적으로는 그 환변동과 무관한 비가격 경쟁력, 그 브랜드 가치를 제고한다든가 상품의 품질을 높여야 될 것입니다. 이렇게 되면은 그 위안화 환율 가치 이렇게 뭐 환변동이 심한다고 하더라도 기업이 지속적으로 수익을 내면서 잘될 것입니다. China's economic downturn and sudden currency devaluation will have a large impact on Korea's economy. However, this crisis raised Korea's awareness of the need to secure internal stability and devise countermeasures while strengthening its relationship with the global community. Chungmyo Chereak, Korea's number one intangible cultural property. The court music from the Joseon dynasty will reverberate in Paris this year to celebrate the 130th anniversary of Korea-France diplomatic ties. Chungmyo Shrine is Korea's most sophisticated and majestic architectural structure built in 1394. It houses the memorial tablets of the deceased kings and queens of the Joseon dynasty. Here at Chungmyo Shrine, an ancestral ritual called Chungmyo Chede takes place. It was the most important event of the country at the time, and in 2001, UNESCO listed it as an intangible cultural heritage. 종묘 제례학은 그래서 처음에는 그 회례연의 음악에 쓰였지만 이제 세조 때부터 제사 음악으로 쓰였고 그래서 그 음악의 역사로 말하면 570년에 가까운 600년이 좀안 되는 그래서 그렇게 긴 역사 동안 그 음악의 전체가 변하지 않고 이렇게 전승될 수 있다라는 것 자체가 그 세계 음악 사상으로 봤을 때도 굉장히 그 중요한 그 문화 유산적 가치가 있고. Until King Sejong the Great came to the throne, Chinese music accompanied Joseon's ancestral rituals. Unhappy about this, King Sejong created Chongmyo Chereak. His son King Sejo officially held the first Chongmyo Chereak performance, and the tradition continues until today. 2016 marks the 130th anniversary of Korea and France diplomatic ties. The two countries designated 2015 and 2016 as the years of exchange and are planning various cultural exchange programs. A celebration will take place at the Shayo National Theater in Paris this September, and Chungmyo Chereak will feature as the opening music. Korea and France are actively exchanging cultural contents. For the past, I would say, 10-15 years, 
this relationship have been increasing quite a lot. Uh, it's a country which economically is very developed with lots of uh, applied research. So we are very interested, I mean, in France to work with Korea to have exchanges in research, in economy, in all of these fields. The orchestra prepares for the performance in Paris. Chongmyo Chereak is the very essence of composite art, blending instrumental music, vocals, and dance. Korea's traditional instruments, vocals, and melodies create sonorous and elegant sounds unique to Chongmyo Chereak. Uh, Kebom, a musical encyclopedia, explains Chungmyo Chereak in detail in both words and drawings. With this document, instruments that were used 600 years ago could be preserved until today. The dance team is also practicing hard for the performance. Ilmu, literally line dance, honors the king's virtues. Munmu commemorates the king's academic wisdom, and Mumu commemorates his military merits. Munmu is calm and smooth, while Mumu is powerful, passionate, and features swords and spears. Ilmu가 30. 명이 간다라는 것 그것을 전장을 다 외운다는 그 자체가 요번에 저희 무용단으로서는 새로운 도전이고 새로운 그 포부고 또 그것을 또 유럽의 또 파리의 그 많은 그 유럽인들에게 그 공연을 그 우리의 느린 호흡과 춤을 한번 보여준다라는 것은 굉장히 역사적으로 의미가 있다고 봅니다. With their first performance in France coming up both the orchestra and dance team resolve to perfect their skills. France 국립 차유극장에서 이제 임무를 하게 돼서 굉장히 큰 부담감도 있지만 자부심을 가지고 한 3개월 정도 남았는데 그 기간 동안에 또 완성도를 높여서 어 프랑스 아니 전 세계 종묘제라에게 음악적인 우수성을 알리는 좋은 기회가 됐으면 합니다. With Chongmyo Chereak as a cultural bridge between Korea and France, we celebrate the 130th anniversary of our diplomatic ties and hope to further cultural exchanges and broaden our understanding of each other. Koreans have a tight, busy schedule. Mornings are particularly short as people get ready for school or work. For many busy Koreans, eating breakfast is a luxury they can't afford. According to a recent survey, one out of three Koreans start their day without breakfast. And half of them don't eat breakfast out of habit. 통, 피로, 구취 등이 증가하고 몸에 기운이 없다는 느낌을 받게 됩니다. 또한 어, 나머지 끼니 때 아무래도 과식이나 폭식을 할 확률이 높기 때문에 체중 조절에나 대사 질환의 예방에도 오히려 좋지 않은 방향으로 작용하게 됩니다. Research shows skipping breakfast increases the risks of developing various diseases. It proves just how important eating breakfast is. When an increasing number of people began skipping breakfast, in 2006, Korea's Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs began a breakfast promotion campaign. The campaign takes place in various forms. It continually researches and develops healthy and simple breakfast menus suitable for busy schedules. It also sends daily breakfast recipe by email.
직장인이나 학생들을 대상으로 아침밥에 뭐 김밥이라든지 간단한 밥버거를 제공하는 그런 캠페인 뿐만 아니라 그 9시 등교제에 맞춰서 학생들이 아침을 먹고 등교할 수 있도록 그 전날 건강하고 간편하게 구성된 식단을 제공하는 어, 내일의 아침밥 메일링 서비스도 추진을 하고 있습니다. A university in Seoul. Here, students fill the cafeteria in early hours. It's because the university provides breakfast to students for less than a dollar. This breakfast project created a win-win situation because the university can enhance the students' health and concentration and the students can reduce their financial burden. 아침 식사를 제대로 하지 않는 학생들을 안타깝게 생각하는 그 부모의 마음으로 학생들의 경제적인 부담을 줄여드리기 위해서 천 원의 아침 식사를 제공함으로써 학생들이 학습 의욕을 좀 높이고 또 선한 인재로 성장할 수 있는 그런 계기를 마련하기 위해서 마련된 제도입니다. This less than a dollar breakfast is so popular that about 600 students eat it every day, and they notice the big changes that followed. 가격에 비, 어, 비해서 반찬도 괜찮아서 음. <웃음> 좋은 것 같아요. 아침 안 먹으면 배고프니까 좀 그런 게 있는데 아침 먹으면 음료율이 오르는 것 같습니다. 이제 아침에 일찍 일어나면 뭔가 하루도 새롭게 시작, 더 빨리 시작하니까 좀 개운하고 좀더 보람차게 보낼 수 있을 것 같아서 좋아요. The 1001 breakfast is a big hit on campus. In fact, it's fast becoming a culture of its own among the students. Workplaces began emphasizing the importance of eating breakfast as well. This advertising company makes a simple meal every morning for their employees who don't have time to eat breakfast at home. 그래서 매주마다 월요일 같은 경우에는 삼각김밥으로 종류별로 이렇게 다르게 해주고요. 그리고 수요일 같은 경우에는 김밥을 해주고 있습니다. 최소한 간단하면서도 영양 있는 걸로 이렇게 준비를 했거든요. As the employees can start their day at work with a simple yet nutritious breakfast, they can store up on energy and work more efficiently. It's a win-win situation for both the employees and the company. 대부분 현대 직장인들은 아침을 못 먹고는 그것이 경제적인 이유가 아니라 환경적인 요인이겠죠. 일어나서 일찍 출근하고 전철에서 시달리고 식사가 그 편안함을 어, 누리게 해주는 하나의 요인이 된다면 충분히 아침 식사는 어, 직원들의 삶에 기여를 한다고 볼수 있겠습니다. There's another place whose business started booming after breakfast campaigns began, convenience stores. They sell a diverse array of convenience foods such as sandwiches and kimbap, which are popular breakfast options. 간편 식품 같은 경우에는 점심 시간 때 매출 비중이 굉장히 높았었는데요. 지난해 같은 경우는 처음으로 아침 식사 시간 때 간편 식품 매출 비중이 20%를 돌파를 하면서 아침 식사를 찾는 사람들이 많이 늘어난 것으로 파악되고 있습니다. Korea's convenience food market grew by almost 1 billion US dollars in 5 years. Other businesses even began delivering breakfast for those who are really pressed for time. More and more people are turning to breakfast delivery because it is convenient and nutritious. 한 천여 명 되시는 고객들이 드실 수 있도록 저희들이 아침 배송을 하고 있고요. 좀 소화하기 쉬운 맛있는 영양 건강식을 많이 찾으십니다. This company cooks breakfast every morning and delivers it right to their customers' doors. This service has high customer satisfaction rating because people can eat fresh, wholesome breakfast every morning. Korea is a bustling, dynamic nation, and the energy to see through the day comes from a proper breakfast. Korea's busy mornings are changing.
art therapy has been practiced as a form of psychotherapy since the 1800s. In Korea, art therapy that reflects unique Korean characteristics are helping the society de-stress. Coloring books became Amazon's number one seller at the end of last year. The trend spread to Korea, and the number of coloring books increased by 126%. People say that they feel relaxed when they are coloring. The coloring books are especially popular among women in their 30s and 40s, and the book sales increased by 426% compared to last year. In the midst of this new fever, some people fell in love with what can be seen as Korea's traditional art therapy, Minhwa. This Minhwa club is always crowded with people of all ages. 유아나 수채화 같은 거는 기본적으로 그림을 해야 되고 좀 배워야 되는데 저희 미나 같은 경우에는 처음부터 미나 그림을 할줄 몰라도 처음 작업하기가 굉장히 쉬워서 Minhwa is a type of folk painting that developed during the Joseon dynasty to decorate the living spaces. And now it's coming back as a form of art therapy. Everyone, including beginners and professional artists, all point to the healing power of Minhwa as their reason for taking up the hobby. Minhwa is popular among restless students and stressed out adults because of its simple techniques and ability to help people concentrate, relieve stress, and exercise introspection. 사람들이 그런 어떤 뭐 어떻게 보면 분절되고 어 소통하지 못한 그런 부분들에 대한 어떤 보상적 차원에서 예술이 갖고 있는 통합적인 특성들 그리고 예술이 갖고 있는 뭐 자연스러운 그런 그 자기 표현의 장점들 이런 것들을 더 많이 치료적으로 활용하고자 하는 그런 내용들이 좀더 영향을 주지 않았나 싶습니다. People in today's world are subjected to all kinds of stress. In a survey, a staggering 87% of Koreans stated that they experienced stress at work. Another form of art therapy that the stressed out Koreans enjoy is pottery. They find relief in manipulating soft clay and expressing themselves. Shaping the clay on a potter's wheel is helpful for people suffering from emotional disorders, depression and stress. Concentrating on the wheel and the clay can help people overcome emotional instability. 처음에는 야 이게 이렇게 좋을까 했는데 좋다기보다는 그만큼 우리한테 이렇게 모든 곳에 다 스트레스를 주지 이거를 가만 내가 좀 있을 수 있는 그런 시간이 없는 것 같아 그런 시간이나 공간이 없으니까 사람들이 이제 그래서 오게 되는 것 같아요. People use art to express themselves and boost their emotional and mental health. And among them, dance is an art form that represents the pinnacle of human creativity. Here, a dance therapy session is in full swing. People talk about their feelings and thoughts. Through dance, people reconstruct their experiences and try to find the true meaning of their lives. 
여러분들이 우리는 다른 사람들 신경 쓰는 데는 다들 천재인데 이렇게 자기 자신한테 신경 쓰는 일을 좀 못하는 것 같아서 자기를 좀 돌보는 일을 먼저 시작하시면 좋겠어요. Art therapy not only heals people but also helps them grow and find themselves. The possibilities are endless and we look forward to witnessing more developments in Korean art therapy.